Hello, good students. This is Dr. Rick Ramos, and we're looking at the next part of how you do research online. So in the first video, I showed you how you go to the library database to extract an article. Now, we found this article about gangs and how gangs lead to adult, uh, um, to adult dysfunction, basically. So I can download this by just clicking on, you know, the, the download button here. And I've done this already, so we can look at, I have a copy of this has a, as a, uh, a uh, PDF so I can put away the research file. <clears throat> and what I want to do is I want to take and move the data to my PTA, which is Purpose Theory, Evidence and Analysis or Action Form, because that gives me a construct to start to pull things out so that later on I can decide how I'm going to use this article. Um, so the first thing is, is I'm looking at what is the purpose of the article. And the purpose of the article is to determine, um, examine possible public health consequences of adolescent membership uh, for adult functioning. So, you know, we can just take that right there and copy it. And we put that down on the purpose. But you're going to have to reword this a little bit, right? And when you do that, you might, because you're going to get a certain color there, you might go up to uh, edit and paste and match formatting. So, and I would put Gilman examine the possible public uh, consequence of adolescent gang membership for adult function, right? And then, so the theory, um, theory is that, that find the gang membership significant consequence of adult uh, beyond criminal behavior, and we mean by that, I'm going to copy that in now, and by that it's like a lack of education, a lack of employment, and a variety of things, drug, drug use, and we'll look at some of this stuff in the evidence. So we're looking through here, and it talks about active gang membership and some of the other things that happen have more difficulty in school, more likely to be violently, violently victimized, um, long-term public health consequences, right, because you're more apt to get injured, likely to be relying on illegal income. All of this stuff is evidence. So we would be highlighting this stuff with a highlighter if we had this printed out, and I'd be putting the big word, you know, I'd be putting E up here so that I know that's evidence. And that would be the, the way that I would um, typically, you know, look at something like that. Highlight, more likely to be arrested, more likely to have illegal income. And so I go through the paper and I start pulling things out. Um, and then I want to start looking at what the, what the you know, that's the beginning of your evidence. Um, they have a bunch of outcomes. They looked at something like um, 805 fifth grade students. Anyhow, you go through this article and you pull out different examples of evidence of things that are going to work for you. And you'll see that they break this stuff down uh, in the form of uh, demographics. How many of them had... Um, were using illegal income compared to those that weren't, weren't before and after. And there's some significance to all this in poor health, depression, etc. So this would be a way that you could start to have a conversation about how being in a gang is not very healthy, right? And the evidence, again, I don't have time in the short video to pull it all out, but you would take your evidence and you would start to cut and paste it over here. So things like what we saw earlier. And you might only use a couple things out of here. And he's quoting other people too. So I have some evidence here. Analysis is probably that I would say that there's evidence uh, the data tends to show that gang 
membership lead in uh, younger ear years leads to more adult dysfunction than those who are not in gangs. All right. And I probably want to try to have all this as much as I can on one um, piece of paper. I don't want to have a whole bunch of pieces of paper. And I want to format it a little better so I could see what's going on. Now, in order to, to uh, create a patia, um, you might just want to say, that Gilman examined possible public uh, health consequences of adolescence members during the, I mean, this is for an AB, AB I'm sorry, for an uh, annotated bibliography, and I'm just going to put Gilman 20, what is it, 2014. And then I could put here under theory, here'd be another thing I could use according to Gilman. Adolescent gang has had significant consequences. Okay? So this is just an example of how you could start to put your, your, um, your paper together. So this framework is used to build your annotated bibliography. This, is, this idea of using purpose theory, evidence, and analysis gives you um, some format or some sort of perspective to look at a research paper and start to draw out things. Because when you're first starting to do research, you're not sure what to pull out. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about how we're going to move this, the first two pieces here, into our um, annotated bibliography for assignment number one.